Hi guys, welcome to Little Wicket Railway. I'm Rob and this is a short video to show you how I built my budget G-gauge shunter. This is my little 3D printed G-gauge shunter and it's based on a model from A-Rock Stone which was uploaded to Thingiverse. The original model was called Diesel Loco for 16mm scale garden railway. It's a brilliant little project that can be built as a non-motorised version or there are files available that enable you to fit the budget electric chassis kit from IP Engineering. The files on Thingiverse are for 32mm gauge track but I needed a version that would run on 45mm gauge so step one was to scale everything up by about 40%. I also redesigned the chassis so that I could fit these really cheap motors and gearboxes. I also made it so that I could fit the LGB skid pickup contacts and made space for proper axle bearings. The new chassis meant that I had to slightly rework the wheels and chassis side plates as well. I also made changes to the roof just because it wasn't coming out well on my 3D printer. If you'd like to print the version that I've got, then I've uploaded my files as a remix on Thingiverse and I'll put a link in the description. In addition to the 3D printed parts, I've also used the cheap motors, axle bearings, a steel axle, the LGB pickup kit, some screws, 1.5mm wide phosphor bronze strip to go through the pickups, rubber traction tyres, wheel balancing weights, and some 0.4mm thick transparent acrylic sheet for the windows. Again, links for all these parts are in the description. Construction is pretty straightforward. Underneath, the rear unpowered axle has two bearings and the wheels just push fit on to the steel axle. The motor pokes up through the hole in the chassis and the bearings and wheels go on either side which hold it in place. The wheels are secured onto the motor using screws. Then the LGB pickups go in here with the copper strips running through the springs to make contact. As you can see, I've added plenty of self-adhesive wheel balancing weights to make the model heavier, which gives it more traction and the pickups a better connection to the rails. Then around the chassis, the front and rear pieces are glued on and the side pieces are screwed on so that you can still access the wheels should you need to remove them. The cab just glues together and as you can see, the controls are pretty basic. For the windows, I just used a craft knife to cut out the panes from thin clear acrylic. Then the motor housing just glues together and is screwed onto the chassis from underneath. There's plenty of room in the motor housing and I've added an Econami sound decoder with this monster speaker from Road and Rails, plus more weight over the driving wheels. Because this also has a single set of pickups, I've also fitted an Econami Stay Alive power pack to make sure the motor and sound don't cut out. The couplings just slot in and are held in place with this peg. All the parts were printed in either white or black PLA and I gave the main body a coat of spray paint. I attempted to pick out the cab edges in white, but I'm famously bad at painting, so did a pretty poor job that needs going over at some point. So that's my G-Gauge shunter. It's not perfect, but it was a fun build. The cheap motor seems to handle the output from the decoder very well and runs at a sensible speed. It is quite noisy though, but once that sound decoder with the mega speaker is fired up, it's a lot less noticeable. The traction tires really are necessary if you want this to pull more than a single wagon and I found that it was best to glue the traction tyres on with super glue, otherwise it has a habit of kicking them off on the kerbs. As you can see, it's not the smoothest ride, but it handles the first radius curves and points pretty well. And if you ignore the cost of the decoder and speaker, because you don't need those if you plan to run this on DC, then I reckon the total cost of this model is around £50. And in the world of G-Scale, where models can cost hundreds and hundreds of pounds, that makes this shunter really good value. There's plenty of scope to extend this project by adding additional detail and lighting for example, but it's still early days for my G-Gauge adventure so I'm leaving it there for now. If you've enjoyed this video then please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Special thanks to all the YouTube members and patrons for their support, it's very much appreciated and your names are up on the screen now. That's it for this video, thanks for watching and I'll hopefully see you again soon.